Hi, and welcome to Colorlib Video Tutorial. In this video, I am going to take you through the Pixova theme options. To do this, navigate to your WordPress dashboard, then go to Appearance and select Customize. You will be redirected to this page here where you can access the theme options. Click on it to proceed. Pixova theme option contains five sections, namely General, Site Identity, Static Front Page, Breadcrumbs, and Blog Settings. Let's first start by editing the general theme information. Here, enter your site title. This is your company name in text format. You can enable or disable the display theme copyright in the footer using the button here. Next, enter the copyright message that you will want displayed in the footer on the box provided. If you want a preloaded display when your website is loading, click on Enabled here. Click on Enabled or Disabled too for section animations, breadcrumbs on a single blog post, blog images, and header parallax header fade out effect as shown here. Section animations is the animation you'll see when scrolling and elements are coming into view with a slide animation. Once done making your choices, go back using the back arrow and proceed to modify your site identity. In this section, you can add logo, tagline, and site icon. To add a logo, click on Select Logo under Logo. Next, enter your tagline. Check on the box here to display site title and tagline. When this is unchecked, you will only see the logo displayed. The site icon is used as a browser and app icon for your site. Icons must be square and at least 512 pixels wide and tall. Click on the back arrow when done. Next option is setting static front page. This was explained in importing demo content video. If you have not done so, click on it. Pixova supports static front page. However, you can choose to display latest posts by clicking on this option here. Use the options below here to choose a page to display for front and posts. Breadcrumbs options allows you to edit various breadcrumbs related settings like breadcrumb prefix, breadcrumb item separator, and breadcrumb menu post category visibility setting. Text prefix is the text that displays before breadcrumbs menu. Enter it here. Choose a separator from the drop-down arrow here. Use the button here to enable and disable display of post category. Finally, let's modify your blog settings. On the new window, enter your blog title and description on the boxes provided here. If you want related posts displayed below every blog post, click on Enable here. There are other additional things that you can enable and disable using the sliding button besides it, like show previous and next links, author box, post title in the carousel, date, and more. Slide the button here to choose the number of blog posts to display in the carousel. Please note, we recommend you don't change any of these settings for a demo-like experience. Save and publish your changes when done. Congratulations! you have successfully completed modifying your Pixova theme options. In our next video, I am going to walk you through the color schemas for Pixova Lite. For support on related questions, it is better to ask on support forum as they have more knowledge than me at colorlib.com forward slash WP forward slash forums forward slash forum forward slash Pixova Lite. This link is available below in the description area. Last but not least, thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date with the latest WordPress theme tutorials.